Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be our fourth and final video for uh, the Minecraft Dungeons beta. I took a look at the mission select and it turns out that the three levels that we've already played through um, and posted are the only ones available for the beta. So we'll definitely get the game. We will jump back in when it is published and we'll play the rest of the levels and share more with you there. But um, for this last video, I just wanted to do a little exploration around the hub. Um, and kind of walk you through some of the things that I've learned and some some of the menu details um, And then we'll, we'll call that good for now So this is the main hub. They call it the camp um, Here you can see there's mission select which is pretty straightforward. Um, you can select a mission um, There's some interesting details on here So I think these gear drops and artifacts are the things that I've earned thus far you can select the difficulty level and as you change the difficulty level um, it shows the recommended power level versus your current power level um, so you either have that little green arrow next to the your power that's saying that I'm I'm more than powered for it T at level 10 I'm at the power it's recommending and at, at level 16 I'm underpowered for it so I could try it and I might get through it and I can get some really cool rewards but they're giving me a heads up that um, it's definitely going to be a, a bigger challenge um, yeah and then if you go hit X it'll just kind of show you a little bit about that level um, itself so let's go back out um, this is the blacksmith so you can trade in your emeralds that you earn while you're playing or by salvaging your gear for random gear and it's saying that the gear that you're gonna buy um, at this moment is appropriate for your level so when the game first started I was at like level one and I spent some coins on it and the gear that I got was like level one gear if I did it now I'll get a higher power level item um, more appropriate for level 10 which is where I'm at now um, let's let's just buy one to kind of show you what that looks like so I got power level 6 sickles, um, a ceremonial weapon that hails from the same region as the desert temple. Okay, um, and then let's go into, this is the wandering trader. He hasn't wandered much, he was here last time I was um, in this, I don't know if he goes back and forth. So he gives artifacts, so they're, they're more costly. I only have 50 emeralds and he wants 169. But he gives an artifact that, um, that's appropriate for your level. Um, let's go in the menu and see if we can... Oops, the wrong one. See if we can salvage some of this gear. I'm going to salvage this. So it's going to give us 16 emeralds for that. That's not going to get us anywhere close. Um, I'm not going to salvage all, my, all, all the gear. Well, it's a beta. Why don't we just do it to show you. So we're going to salvage all this. Still not quite enough. So we head up in the upper left corner. You can see that's um, 152. Let's see if we can uh, let's salvage this. That's going to give us 16. Which is just under 168. We need 169. Let's, um, I'm actually going to see if I can find... Um, I saw this chest here earlier. So if you explore around the hub, you might be able to find stuff like this. Look, we just we just got 50 emeralds, so let's go back up and see if we can use them. So we're going to talk to him, uh, get the artifact, and see what we get. So tasty bone. You hear a distant howl as you hold the tasty bone in your hand. Let's go in the menu and see what that does. Summon summons a wolf to aid you in battle. That's cool. So it says 30 second cooldown. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you um, just for the sake of um, kind of walking you through some of this. I salvaged that bow. Um, but what it did do is give me one of my enchantment points back. So if you look in the upper left here, I have 67 emeralds and one enchantment point. You earn those enchantment points as you level up. Um, so... I'm going to take that and see if we can enchant something. Let's enchant this armor. 
Oh wow, so you can do different types of thing. So in this second group, there's different types of enchantments that you can you can pick for that slot. And then on the left here, you can see you can improve that enchantment with um, additional um, enchantment gems or whatever you're going to call them. So let's see, this is swift-footed. Rolling makes you move faster for three seconds. Whenever you take damage, you deal damage back to the attacker. Um, and this one is being hit by damage inflicting projectiles will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrows. So it, it is giving you some of the arrows that you're getting hit by back. Uh, let's just pick one of these. Um, whenever you take damage, you deal damage back to the attacker. Let's do that. So we enchanted that in that slot. In order to upgrade it, I need more enchantment points, as you can see there. So the system that they have here, um, as you can see, is, is really cool and really exciting, and it definitely lends itself to replayability. It 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 makes you want to go back and play the levels and pow level up and get the enchantments, get the get the emeralds, and power up your gear so that you can maybe take it on on, on a, in a harder way um, at a harder level. So um, so far. I've really enjoyed this, um, playing through the first three levels. Um, I mentioned in another video, um, but this is getting a lot of comparisons to Blizzard's Diablo. Now, Diablo is a very fun game. Dungeon Crawler, probably one of the most popular of the genre. It's not family friendly, and this is like the family friendly ver version of it. On top of that, there's couch co-op and online co-op, which means you can play with your friends, um, four, up to four players in your living room, friends and family. Um, or you can play online and they don't have uh, matchmaking which means it's specifically intended so you can play with your fr your friends or family or people you know online so you can't join a queue to play with random people to co do like a four player with random people out in the internet universe or whatever they specifically want you to be teaming up with people you know which is kind of it's fun and exciting and um it's uh the, the game i think it lends itself really well to that sort of thing I'm going to take one last look around um, the hub here before I, I um, wrap this up. So I don't know if more stuff is going to show up in this area, but it's this, um, there's quite a bit of space here. There's that chest there. Um, there's all this open space, and I'm not quite sure if as we play through the game, it adds more um, vendors or... Um, little mini games maybe things to do in this area but it seems like a big space to not do something like that um, I'm just gonna move around here so you can kind of see it there's a little bit of a farm and I I take it this is uh, your home of some sort um, I've poked around here that I can't seem to find anything that you can activate or trigger it's just a cool looking Minecraft home um, I'm hoping though when the full game launches um, they'll have this would be something where you can collect legendary loot and display it and sort of upgrade your home as you go along with the gear that you're playing the game with because if you look off to the left here there's like a wooden sword in the ground there's like a a, a creeper sort of um, statue um, so that's that's my kind of hope for that but I'm not sure what the the, the plan is um, from Microsoft uh, there's a little bit of space back behind here and that's it oh and another thing you can't um, oh you can uh, so you can't walk off uh, the map but if you I'm playing with an Xbox controller on a PC you're this is the the left stick is the move and then the, the right stick if you press it in the direction you're walking they'll roll so apparently you can roll off the map but you can't walk off the map um, there's like an, a bit's preventing me from walking, so it's kind of nice that you don't accidentally stumble off that. So yeah, that's the hub. That's a quick look at the menus and sort of um, kind of an overview of my experience and thoughts on the game so far. We will definitely be playing the full game when it launches in late May. Um, let us know if you have any questions um, in the comments below. I'm happy to try to answer them. Um, and looking forward to sharing more with you guys, and thanks for joining us. Take care. Bye-bye.